Welcome back to Benny's Custom Oaks, proudly supported by Valvoline and Spares Box. Don't forget Benny 5 on checkout. This week, episode two of our Toyota 86 BRZ Automatic Track Car Fun Time Series. Who put the bolts in backwards? Like seriously. All of that debris is from water. What the hell? <laughs> Bruh. Uh, we've already done brake upgrades. So we've done disc pads and braided brake lines. We've also done Shockworks coilovers. And I can't remember what else we did. Oh, we did a catback exhaust. So all that's been done. If you want to check that out, please go and watch episode one. However, if you've already seen that, enjoy today. We're going to be chucking in a uh, Ministry of Fab roll cage. We're going to be putting in some fixed back bucket seats. The driver's side is going to be on a sliding rail. The passenger side is going to be a uh, fixed position seat. Uh, we're going to be gutting all the interior. We're going to be pulling out things like seat belts, speakers, all sorts of stuff that doesn't need to be in there anymore and adding a few things that definitely do. At least it doesn't smell wet in there anymore. Oh wait. I'll be stoked when this just moves under its own power. So by the end of the day, it'll get parked back in the corner for a month. <laughs> the submerged dairy lighter still works. <laughs> now it went uh, shut on us and we're trying to put the cage in it 700 times. But I can tell you that it definitely went this far under the water. Why, because there's, oh, there's leaves Because it pushed shrubs. that out. Now we start to rip out all the junk we don't need anymore. Definitely don't need that. Can you get that for me? help and I was like nah I better just film it <laughs> just just here to do my job oh, yeah. Yeah. Ow. oh we found still wet things oh I found the smell it's like there's so many particles in the air right now yeah mmm tasty <laughs> You pass me the dirt mat. You can just touch it, like not five. <laughs> we have running water here. <laughs> if I gotta to touch it, you gotta to touch it. That should be a new rule. Let's not use that out of context. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a weird show. Ooh, a dollar! This is unusually heavy. So to me, it's full of water still. Another dollar. Auto dead pedal. See ya. Reverse sensor installation. I don't think it's gonna make the cut. Well, conveniently it's already been cut, so we'll just drag all that shit out later on. It's literally just bin water. Oh, that's yucky. It already smells better in here. I can't tell anymore. <laughs> Maybe we're just used to the smell now. Maybe. Oh, more water. I feel so privileged to be chosen as the special person to do this job. I'm glad that I chose me to do it. At least I know this is gonna go in. Have faith in the good stuff. Come down to you. Technique. Use my beard hand. That's the thumbnail right there. It just looks like you're eating a raw cage. No, 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 no.
I don't think you'd want to go any further forward than that. It's definitely got a good range of movement. Like that's you're a, you're a that's arguably too far back for me. Right. And that's person, so. yeah, exactly. Like well, my theory was if I could get it to go all the way back on the back end of the slider to basically touch the cage, mm. and then you can get the full range of motion in the slider without kind of running out of range either front or back. So. Oh, that was actually a painful experience to put that seat into that mounting point because the I don't really think that these AGI base plates are designed for a, a base mount seat with a rail. They're more, I think, designed for a side mount with the brackets in a fixed position, which is fine, but it doesn't work in our setup. So, um, yeah, I think this will work pretty well, especially for the, for the driving position having to be moved so much being a... a um, like a rental car so um, yeah we'll put the passenger seat on a fixed rail uh, there's zero need to be able to move it but I'll definitely try and pick a happy place for it so that it's not all the way forward all the way back um, I know the track school team are pretty diverse in their height so we'll uh, definitely try and pick a position that's going to work for them and now the audio is doing this <laughs> audios so yeah that's my story and now it's lunchtime because I need some sad foods. I need a hug and a bad subway. 12.04. 12.04, you say? Way off. Really? Guess again. Mm, 11.35. 12.05. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way off, he says. I'm a minute <laughs> out. What a Can body clock. With friends like you, who needs enemies? This side it looks like a manual. For sure, I reckon that was the game plan. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> so when you date sitting in the seat there. Just like, hey, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I've had a little bit of a fail today. Um, I was planning to actually build a carbon insert to go in here just to block it off because obviously there's no radio in this thing anymore. However, I'm actually out of carbon sheet, so uh, that will have to be a project for another day. So I'm just literally going to put the surround back in now so that it looks somewhat more finished, even though it's not 100%. But it's in there. The whole car looks much better now than, than what it did this morning. We've now obviously got all of our rubbish carpet stripped out found a lot of wetness still in the car even though it had been dried out um, so pretty happy to actually get rid of all the wet dog smell out of it now it doesn't really stink at all we've got the cage obviously in at the seats uh, we've got have put some creature comforts back in i did put the sun visors in and i have put the a pillar trims back in just to make it look a bit neater um, but yeah i think it's pretty pretty well finished internally um, so yeah pretty stoked with it and uh we're gonna start packing up Uh, traction control oh right well that's episode two for our 86 brz project in the bag we've now got our, our ministry of fab cage in we've also got the seats in we've got a sliding rail on the driver's side fixed rail on the passenger side all the interior has 
gone back into it and both come out. So we've got rid of all the stuff we didn't need. We've put all of our door cards and center console back in. Episode three, we're gonna be kicking that off in the next couple of weeks as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.